Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you back today for another reading. I hope that you're doing amazing and having a wonderful weekend. Okay, so for today's reading, I wanted to look into a miracle that's coming your way. I kind of wanted to bring in some good news for you today. So anything good, any kind of miracle that is coming your way and that Spirit wants to give you a heads up about. So that's going to be the topic of today's reading. And we have three piles to choose from as always. We have pile number one, we have pile number two, and pile number three. Please feel free to choose any pile that you feel most drawn to and then you can skip to the timestamps which are in the description and I will see you guys at your reading. Hello my beautiful pile number one. If you guys chose this pile then this is going to be a reading today about what miracle is secretly coming your way. Okay pile one, so let's begin by shuffling your pile and then we're gonna get into your reading. I'm super excited to see what is this miracle that's coming your way. So let's begin with your tarot cards and by the way if you want to skip this part then there is a timestamp for you. So let's see spirit of what miracle are you sending to pile one what miracle is coming in for pile one here spirit okay let's take a look what miracle is coming in for you pile one i feel like taking this card this one right here let's take these two as well and let's get this one for you okay pile one so we have your tarot cards now Let's get some oracles, and then we're going to get into your reading. So, let's see what miracle is coming in for pile one. What blessing, what miracle, any good news, anything good, positive that's coming your way. Good things coming in for pile one, spirit. What miracle are you sending to pile one? Pile number one, miracle coming in for pile one spirit. What miracle is coming their way? What miracle is coming in for pile one? Pile one, okay. And let's get you your last card here. What miracle is coming in for pile number one, Spirit? Okay, I feel like taking this one. Okay, pile one. So we have your cards now. I'm super excited to get into your reading. Let's see, what is this thing that's coming your way here? So as your card here, you guys chose the ocean. And this makes me think right away for you that this is like something that you're not quite expecting, right? With the ocean, it's so like, unknown and i'm hearing that it's like it's um it's bigger than it than it looks like that's what it feels like right because the the ocean like there's so much that it's like left undiscovered and there's so much beneath the surface that's kind of what it feels like like this miracle that's coming your way it, it's kind of gonna feel like uh, it's like you get one thing but you you don't quite see like right away when you see it you don't quite see all of the other blessings that are coming along with it right that's what it feels like um when you first take a look at it it's not gonna seem like um like you're not gonna be able to see everything right that's kind of what it feels like there is a lot of surprises coming your way that's what i'm trying to say here especially with the ocean and this is something unexpected something that you're not quite seeing yet is what it feels like to me okay but i'm kind of getting the energy that it's gonna it's gonna put you like in flow it's gonna bring in some kind of peace in your life but let's take a look at your tarot card so we can get like a more more straightforward answer what is this blessing that's coming your way you guys have the knight of cups yeah okay so this could be love for some of you wow that's really interesting. Let's see. You have the Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is coming in very unexpected is what I'm feeling. It's coming in fast for you. This miracle, this blessing is coming in fast. Um, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. You have the Six of Pentacles. 
and for your last card you have the emperor wow this is so interesting pile pile one wow i feel like you're and, and you know just as i was saying in the beginning it does feel like you're receiving kind of multiple things um or like you're receiving one thing but then there's like another thing that comes along with it like that's the energy of your miracle it feels like there might be a person that's coming in here to help you out financially like that's what i'm hearing for some of you and this like person could potentially also turn into something more uh into something like a like a love relationship that's kind of what i'm feeling for others of you i feel like you might be meeting somebody um who can be like your potential partner and this person is very wealthy like that's kind of what i'm getting but there is definitely like the energy of like something is coming in quite fast and um it's like when you receive this miracle like you might not even recognize at the first sight that it is your miracle that it is a blessing but then once you kind of start to get to know it a little bit better you're you're gonna realize like what a blessing this is for you so i see that for a lot of you there is the energy that you're getting help though okay so that's what i'm getting it's like um for others of you like have been feeling a little bit like under the weather is what i'm hearing or a little bit like um like you might like some clarity like you might need some answers i do see like things clearing up for you okay I'm kind of getting that you guys are receiving help and I want to mention that your blessing is coming in quite fast and quite unexpected especially with the 801s right it's an energy of like fast movement this could also represent like a message a letter a communication with somebody right but I feel like this is um the energy of your miracle that I'm getting is kind of like an offer like somebody offering you something um it does feel like this miracle involves another person who has potentially more experience than you, who is more mature, maybe more well-known, or um, has already been into, I want to say like been into the business for a while, right? But this can like just apply this how it resonates to you. But it does feel like you're receiving an offer of somebody that will help you uh, or that will help push you out on the right way that's kind of what i'm seeing here there is definitely like financial help uh coming in especially is what i'm seeing but also like a love offer for some of you i want to take a look at your oracles though so i can see more clearly what this is about let's see you have concern yeah so i feel like i mentioned there is like some of you might be feeling concerned about something you might be feeling a little bit like um like there's some uh, feeling of unsettlement that I'm kind of getting here. You, like, you might be concerned, like, regarding your finances or something like that. So, I see help coming in for you. Pile number one, I feel like the miracle that's coming your way is help. Um, is somebody who will be able to help you regarding a concern that you have. Um, this might be something that you guys have prayed for. So it's like spirit is sending you the answer is very fast. But it did mention like it's like you're receiving an offer. It's like you're receiving help. So whatever is like making you feel a little bit concerned right now, I feel like your issue will be resolved. I didn't mention in the beginning with the ocean, I was kind of feeling like you're going to feel at peace. Everything is going to be fine. And I feel like that's the energy here for you is that you're going to be able to receive help in an area of your life where you need it the most. So, and this is going to be very generous. It's not going to be the type of thing where somebody wants you to, wants you, after they help you, they're expecting something of you it's gonna feel very generous and somebody is just helping you because they like you like that's what it feels like somebody is helping you out of empathy um out of maybe maybe that's like the knight of cups here is like somebody is coming in to help you um with very good intentions it's not the type of thing where somebody comes in and help you and then they expect the world back from you right it feels like they're just coming in to help you because they like you because they empathize with you that's kind of what i'm picking up here so if there is something that has been keeping you concerned you know with the ocean the ocean can sometimes bring like moon energy to me which is kind of like confusion and not being able to see 
everything clearly um, and maybe that's what's keeping you a bit concerned right now but i see that being um taken care of for you pile number one so let's see your other cards wow look at this you have good luck here with the black cat so you might have seen a black cat here i feel like something that you guys are like concerned about it's gonna be resolved in a very like lucky way like that's kind of in a very like um synchronized way like you're gonna receive a lot of synchronicities a lot of signs along the way you also have fertility so everything is gonna be fine okay some of you might have been concerned maybe regarding like um regarding like your health maybe regarding like uh pregnancy or maybe you have been wanting to get pregnant for some of you i'm feeling so that's going to be resolved i'm hearing for a lot of you but i feel like mainly whatever you're concerned about that's going to be resolved that's the miracle that you are receiving pile number one is somebody helping you to resolve a concern that you have or something that you're concerned about is going to go away i'm kind of getting the what you're worried about right now it's actually not that big of a deal uh, spirit is telling me so it's like try to be as peaceful as possible because i see that your concern is not that big or there is a, a, a easy solution to it that's coming in here and i feel like this might this will most likely be resolved by a person coming in to help you very generously um especially i'm seeing it being about finances that's kind of what i'm thinking about finances okay you have grounding with the potato here so yeah, with the grounding card, I'm kind of getting like just uh, breathe, right? Um, just relax. Like I'm hearing everything is fine. I don't feel like you guys need to be so worried about this because I'm not seeing any like bad cards in your spread. It's just mainly it feels like the concern is in your head. It's actually mm, like if somebody else were to look at your situation, they w they wouldn't be able to see the concern is just maybe you are making it and exaggerating it a little bit in your head which is making you a bit more worried more more worried sorry so it feels like there's just a need for you to relax a little bit and maybe once you ground once you relax the solution will naturally come to you okay that's kind of what i'm also hearing and you have protection so yeah you are protected palm number one Whatever you're dealing with, I feel like you are very much protected. So everything is going to be fine for you is what I'm hearing. There's no need to be worried. There's no need for concern. But I do see that the miracle coming in is help, is a resolution to this thing that you are concerned about. That's what it feels like to me here. Okay. You also have perfect setting. Yeah, like, it, you know, the energy of your reading is kind of like, especially with good luck, and perfect setting it's like the perfect things come in at the perfect time to help you right that's kind of what it feels like it's like i was mentioning like you're gonna experience like a lot of synchronicities a lot of signs and it's gonna feel like just like everything kind of works out in the most perfect way right with the perfect setting it's like things just happen that seem like lucky right that seem like oh my god like this is so lucky that this happened or that i just saw this person randomly yesterday or that i bought this thing yesterday like it came in so handy to my current situation right that's kind of the thing that i'm seeing here so i see whatever you're concerned about i see it um i see it going away in a very like perfectly synchronized way that's kind of what i'm seeing here yeah clear endeavors so everything is going to be resolved very like fast and clearly that's kind of what i'm seeing here in your cards i feel like this is mainly something very small that you might be a little bit like um exaggerating in your head just like a little bit um and that's why you're a bit more worried but i see it going away, away like very fast very naturally very in a very simple way that's kind of what I want to say here for you, pile number one. Okay, let's take a look at your last card here. You, oh, look at this. You have new career. So some of you might be concerned regarding your career. You might be wanting to change your job. I did mention that there was like involvement of your finances here. So um, what it says here, let me focus this. 
So it says, your work focus is shifting in a positive, new, and successful direction. Yeah, so you, a lot of you might be like concerned something regarding your finances, regarding your career. Um, you might be looking for a new job or something like that. So there is definitely a possibility here for you. Maybe the miracle that's coming your way is a new career, a more financially abundant career. Um, and you know, the emperor can represent, again, I was saying in the beginning, like, it's somebody like, that energy was like somebody coming in who is more um more mature more like knows the business better right i said that and um it does feel like you might be getting like a new boss or something like that like a new mentor so for some of you i see the miracle if you have been wanting to change something regarding your career i see that happening and it's gonna be in the most like perfectly synchronized way like it's gonna seem you know it's like the perfect setting it's like your dream job it's like the perfect dream position that just works so well for you and everything kind of seems to just like go along and be very synchronized that's kind of kind of sorry that's kind of what i'm feeling here for you poll number one so definitely the miracle that's coming your way is something regarding your career regarding your finances i see improvement in that area of your life and something that you're concerned about is gonna go away rather quickly so that's what i'm seeing here for you poll number one i hope that this reading resonated with you if it didn't please leave a like and a comment and i hope to see you guys in my next reading bye guys hello my beautiful pile number two if you guys chose this pile then this is going to be your reading today about what miracle is coming your way that you're not foreseeing it coming okay so let's begin by shuffling your pile pile number two and if you want to skip this part the timestamp is in the description so let's see pile two what miracle here is coming your way that you do not see it coming for pile two spirit okay scarf flew out so let's take it pile two what miracle is coming your way i feel like taking a lot of cards here with you let's see pile two what miracle is coming your way okay let's get those cards for you pile um two and let's get your oracles now so let's see here what miracle is coming your way what miracle is coming your way pile two spirit what miracle is coming in for pile two okay pile two spirit miracle coming in for pile two miracle coming in for pile two okay a miracle that's coming in for pile number two i feel like taking this card let's get one more miracle for pile two okay let's get your last card Pile two spirit what miracle is coming in for pile two. Let's take this one. Okay. So we have your cards now, pile two. Let's get into your reading. I'm super excited here. Okay. So as your card, you chose the flame with the candle. And the, you know, right away this is making me think of like um, you know, when the when you blow like the candle um on your birthday you, and you make a wish like that's kind of what is what is making me think of or usually like um i don't know if this is in your culture i'm not quite sure but like in my culture when we light up the candle it's like we're making a wish right i'm pretty sure that's like a more common thing uh but it's like you light up a candle when you want to make a prayer when you want to when you want to make a wish so that's kind of what it's making me think of here is like there is something that you guys have been praying about something that you have been wishing about uh like kind of daydreaming every day and just like praying like oh i really hope this happens or i really hope that i get this or i really hope that something works out for me that's kind of you may have been asking for guidance from your spirit guides from your god your angels whoever you choose to work for work with but it, it does feel like you have like initiated some kind of communication to the divine here and i feel like this reading is coming in to assure you that you are receiving your wish or you're receiving your prayer like that's kind of what i'm feeling here for you pile number two 
but let's take a look at your tarot cards and then your oracles and let's see what is this miracle that's coming your way so for your first card you guys have the hanged man okay i am getting energy from this hanged man it's like you have been like praying for something i do I'm, i am getting that energy from this image just like you know how this person's eyes are just closed and even though they are hanging upside down they seem just very grounded very at peace is what it feels like so i am getting that it's like you have been praying for something okay let's see what else you have wow look at this the six of wands i'm hearing you have been like praying for success or to some for something to be successful the four of pentacles you also have the nine of wands okay and for your last card you have the death card wow such powerful energy pile number um two that i'm hearing here for you or that i'm feeling um i feel like there is something that you have been dreaming of pile number two is what i'm getting here and something that you have been putting in a lot of efforts towards to, towards to but it's kind of like you're afraid of like the launch or you're like afraid of showing it because you want it to be successful it's like you're afraid of the outcome that's what i'm hearing for you pile number two you're afraid of the outcome and if it's going to reach the expectations that you have set for it and i'm hearing that you have been really like praying like very softly very quietly just praying every day for like something to to get the attention or the outcome that you have been wanting it to get and this has been keeping you a little bit uneasy and i see that you guys have been kind of like a little bit in like the uneasy energy maybe you have been like um saving a lot of your finances or you have been more resourceful result resourceful how do you say that word it's like you're you've been trying to cut down on spending and just be more mindful i guess is what i'm trying to say here uh because there is that energy that you are feeling a little bit anxious and once this happens in one area in our life we take we tend to like you know focus it in every area of your life so it's like you might be experiencing a little bit anxiety right now regarding your life in general um but I see that, like, the, the miracle that's coming your way here, pile number one, is, is something working out in a way where it's going to change your life. Okay, that's kind of what I'm getting. It's, like, something that you're doing, the outcome that you're going to receive from it, it's going to change your life with the death, um, death card. There is a big transformation and change that will, that will be coming in your life. And I feel like you're not foreseeing it working out in the way that it will but i see i see this happening in a positive way right because we are looking at your miracles so i see that something is going to work out in a very positive way where it's going to change your life completely it's gonna um perhaps even move you out of the stagnant energy some of you might have been feeling stagnant maybe you have been feeling like your finances have have been a bit stagnant like um you might be feeling a little bit burnt out for some of you is what it feels like but i see something taking off for you here pile two if something has been more calmer than usual lately i see it taking off i see things moving a bit faster in an area of your life this could be especially regarding your finances but again something that you're doing is going to be very successful right with, with the six of wands this is like public recognition public success so if you have been doing something in the media it feels like it's gaining a lot of attention it's getting a lot of like um, good feedback from people as well and i feel like you're going to come across like i keep hearing progress for you so there is something that is going to be taking off in your life let's take a look at your oracle so we can get um more information about this you have the mature man yeah okay with the mature man i always see this card as like a very successful person um and they know their stuff they know like the 
the field that they're in, the field that they are in, they have a lot of experience. Um, their actions are very wise. Their actions are very mature here. So with a ma with a mature man, Paul number two, I feel like the miracle that's coming your way is you is people seeing you as a very wise person because of your actions. So it, it does feel like you will receive a lot of success regarding something that you're doing that's going to make people appreciate you more and they're going to think more highly of you is what I'm picking up here, that energy. So uh, you're definitely going to be experiencing like a transformation, right? With the hangman, that can be... I kind of see the hangman a little bit like of an immature energy. I'm not going to lie, like a bit childish a bit immature but with a death card i feel like you're transitioning in like people are not going to see you as a child anymore people are going to see you like more they're going to think highly of you because something that you're doing is going to be very successful and people are going to be like wow this person they succeeded in this wow and they're going to respect you more that's what it feels like yeah look at this empowerment yeah so you're definitely like coming in um Definitely that transformation is coming in when where you're switching that energy from childish to very mature. And you also have boundaries, okay? I see that you're going to something is going to be very successful for you, Paul number 2, and you experiencing this success it's going to make you realize, okay, that you want to clean out your life you want to declutter your life is what it feels like and i feel like you're gonna start setting like stronger boundaries with people um I, I see a lot of you cutting out people from your life that you don't want and you it's like you don't want to take them with you anymore right because you are it feels like you're progressing i i see like a person climbing the mountain and going up and sometimes if we choose to take some people in our life along the way with us on the journey um you know when, when we're trying to move up and level up it's just gonna like make the process longer or drag it out because some people they just don't want to move up with you some people they just want to stay where they are and if you choose to keep them in your life they're just gonna keep push, pulling you down and pulling you down and you know you can always get there you can always get to the top but it's a lot easier when you're just moving and you're laser focused and you're going by yourself so it does seem like you're becoming more empowered you're becoming more independent in something that you're doing and it's like you're choosing to let go of people in your life that you feel like are holding you down it's like i'm hearing pal too I want to see how far i can go if i just keep moving if i just go by myself I, if I just go by myself and I keep going I hear you saying that and I feel like that's what's going to be happening here for you you might be experiencing like the first initial success that's going to push you forward to really going after this thing is what I feel like but your actions are going to be like very mature okay that's kind of what it seems like you're you're stepping in very maturely here you also have desire wow look at this so a uh, very beautiful card to get in your reading a miracle that's coming your way is connected to something that you are desiring, okay? And you also have focus. Yeah, I was just saying, it's like you're getting more focus. You're becoming more like laser focus, only thinking about the angle. Only you're becoming more focused on your desire, right? Yeah. So what I'm seeing here for you, Powell, too, it's like you're getting the first initial success of your goal. And this is going to push you forward to keep going. To keep being persistent at it, um, to be focused, be disciplined is what I'm getting. And, and I see you really stepping up. I really see you becoming more mature, uh, becoming more accountable uh, for yourself, becoming more independent and handling things in a very mature way, speaking in a very mature way. Uh, you might be dealing with a lot of people in your life that, ri that right now are kind of acting immature maybe. They're not communicating very maturely and you're just... You're not going to take it anymore is what I'm hearing. It's like you just want to keep going up and up and up. And you don't want to let people hold you back. So I do see you setting stronger boundaries, which is going to resolve into you feeling more empowered to achieve your goal here. Okay, let's see what else. Palomar 
too you have ideal course of action yeah i was saying like your actions are going to be very mature and i want to say your actions are aligned with your desire pile too wow look at this bountiful harvest yeah so there's a lot of success coming in regarding your desire regarding something that you have been praying for um an outcome that you have been praying for like that's kind of what it feels like something that you're doing is gonna have a very successful outcome and you the actions that you're currently taking pile two, they are right to get you to where you want to go. I always see this card as like this person ha wants to get to their castle, right? And with ideal course of actions, they're taking the actions accordingly to get there. It's not like you guys, let's say, it's like what you say you're going to do, you actually do it. That's kind of what I'm getting. It's like, um, you know, let's say if you want to get more fit, the... That required actions let's say would be to go to the gym to eat healthier and you guys are taking those needed actions in order to achieve your goal but if you just say yeah, i want to get more fit and then you don't do anything about it and expect for it to just happen that's kind of immature but you guys are acting like very maturely in your situations like i want this this is what i need to do i'm doing it i don't care if i need to like leave some people behind i don't care if i need to leave some things behind i just want this right now and you're so laser focused on your desire so you're definitely gonna make your wish come true or your prayer is coming in a very strongly upon you let's take a look at your angel message maybe this is gonna be like an answer to your prayers what i'm feeling your angels are sending you look at this easy does it wow let me focus here you it says stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will be open for you so yeah it, it is really like a message uh like an answer to a prayer right maybe you have prayed on like you have prayed for like how do i make this happen or what do i do to make this happen what are my next steps and i feel like the spirit is trying to tell you stop trying to control everything right stop trying to control like if this person is going to come with you, if this situation is going to work out like this way or that way, or I need this in order to, to do that, right? It, it feels like um, you're becoming more reliant on faith, okay? It's like you're having faith in God that if you, okay, I, things seem a bit uncertain right now, but I just have faith that if I keep taking the ideal courses of action i will eventually get to my bountiful harvest that's what it feels like so you guys are starting to rely more on faith is what i'm hearing but it, it's a good thing okay it's not where you are just mindlessly hoping for something because i feel like the faith that you guys have is supported by your actions and that's very important when we have faith and hope it's very important for us to support that by our actions and not just hope and wait for it right we need to also do the according actions but when i say the actions i don't mean like forcing things to happen but showing up every day and being persistent with something being consistent um right we're not we're not looking to make something perfect because it's never going to be perfect we're just looking to be consistent every single day and i feel like that's what you guys are doing here so as a reward you will get your wish you will get your prayer be assured is what i'm hearing for you pile number two okay that's what i have for your reading today i hope that this resonated with you if it didn't please leave a like and a comment and i hope to see you guys in my next reading bye guys hello my beautiful pile number three if you guys chose this pile then this is going to be your reading today about a miracle that's coming your way that spirit would like to give a head give you heads up about okay so let's begin by shuffling your cards pile number three and if you want to skip this part then i will then the timestamp is in the description oh my god i'm sorry i have been already speaking a lot with the previous two piles but let's see pile three what is this miracle that's coming your way that you are not expecting that you're not seeing what blessing is coming in for pile number three spirit what miracle is coming their way in their life okay let's see miracle for pile number three spirit miracle for pile number three and let's get this one i feel okay 
So we have your tarot cards now. Let's get your oracles. What miracle is coming for pile number three? Miracle coming in for pile three, spirit. Miracle coming in for pile three. Miracle coming in for pile three. Something good that's coming their way. Let's see. Okay, let's get some from this deck. Pile three, spirit. What good thing, what miracle is coming in for them? And let's get your last card. Miracle coming in for pile number three. Okay. So we have your cards now and your pile and we can get into your reading. I'm super excited, Pile 3. Let's see what good thing is coming your way here. So with the Self card, this card I feel is so powerful, powerful and holds a lot of powerful energy because I feel like this thing, this miracle that's coming in for you is like, it's coming from within i'm hearing that a lot of you are really good at manifesting it's like you're you're a master at manifesting and this thing that's coming in is something that you're manifesting okay so you are involved in this miracle is what it feels like pile number three you are involved in the reason as to why this is showing up because you're manifesting this from within i feel like there is going to be big transformation happening with yourself and i do see that there is like a life-changing point in your life that's coming in something that's going to shift your whole world and the way that you see yourself and other people see you that's what i'm kind of picking up but it's very interesting energy it's very powerful energy i feel like your miracle is kind of going to be um the most prominent or it's going to be the most life-changing out of the all uh, out of the previous two piles is something very important okay but let's take a look at your cards here and let's see what is this miracle that's coming your way hey look at this you have the sun card it's such a beautiful card to get as your first card here i'm so happy so there's something very positive that's coming in for you okay something very good is coming in you have the eight of cups Okay, you have Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Wow, Pile 3. That's so good to see here. The Magician. Oh my god. I was just saying, you guys are a master at manifesting and you get the Magician card. Wow. That is like such a confirmation for what I said. And you also have the... This is the Six of Swords. Yeah, this is the Six of Swords. Okay. Those are all of your cards. Yeah. Okay, pile three. So there is definitely energy here. Uh, I'm, I'm getting that a lot of you are going to be moving somewhere. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing that is very big energy. You might be moving out of your maybe like parent's house or you might be moving out of your current home, out of your current country, current city. But I feel like you're leaving in order to create a better life for yourself. Like you're going somewhere where there's more opportunities. Where is more aligned with what you guys want to do and what you want to pursue. Maybe like the career path that you guys want to pursue. This other place will give you the opportunity. Will give you the, the right people. The right maybe company or something like that. Right? It feels like you guys are leaving your home behind in order to create a better life for yourself so there's a lot of like i didn't mention that there's like a life changing right a moment that's going to be happening for you and moving i feel like it's quite prominent it's quite like important and it, it does feel like your miracle is kind of like the most life-changing out of the other piles because you know, changing your whole environment does change your entire life. So it does feel like maybe some of you are going to finally manifest moving to that place where you always wished to go, where you knew that you belong and it was like just the right thing for you. It was just the right place for you to be. And I see that you guys are kind of leaving 
uh, it, it does feel a little bit bittersweet. I'm not gonna lie because you might, some people might not quite support you in doing this decision. Um, or you might feel like you are disappointing some people by le by choosing yourself and some people might see you as like being selfish but you know that's just their opinion and that that shouldn't concern you here i'm hearing just be at peace and go your separate way if you feel like you need to in order to create a better future for yourself pal number three but I do see you being able to successfully manifest uh, a big manifestation, okay? Again, this is something very big, very prominent. It's not a small thing. It is quite life-changing, okay? So you're going to be able to manifest something. I see that a lot of you have a really good work ethic as well. So just know that choosing this new direction for yourself is going to lead to a lot of positive success because you have the work ethic to support your goal is what I'm hearing poem number three. So a, a big manifestation is coming in for you and quite like um, a change of the ego, a change of self, like it is quite life-changing that's coming in here for you. Let's take a look at your oracle so we can see a better idea of what this is. Look at this, the main male. It's like you guys are stepping in your power. You're stepping in you into what you're meant to do. I feel like there was something temporary in your life is what I'm hearing. Something was temporary in your life. And it was just to get you to where you need to go now. Where you need to go next. So the next step forward now for you is to step into your purpose. Step into what you're meant to do. And create something that you were always meant to create. Okay, I see that a lot of you are kind of like the rule breakers. You, you're very innovative. You want to do new things. And I feel like now you're, you're stepping into creating your life purpose. Creating your destiny. Creating your dream life. Yeah, dreams. So something that you have been dreaming of is coming your way. A dream, like something that you have been seeing yourself doing since you were a child, being somewhere since you were a child. I really, especially with the main male, the magician, you're going to be able to manifest something really big. Like something that is, it's not just like, I don't know, I want this laptop or I want this phone or I want this car. It's it's not like that. It's It's quite drastic is what I want to say. So it's like a, you're moving different locations your environment is completely changing the people around you are completely changing you're being involved with more um successful people is what it feels like there's a big transformation right especially with the self and the main male it's like you're becoming the main male you're becoming the main character the center of attention also willpower yeah this is talking to me about like what I was saying before, it's like you guys have such a strong work work ethic and you have such a strong willpower to make your dreams come true. So I see it's finally time for you to start working on your actual dreams. It's like before there was something that was temporary in your life just to get you to this stage um, where you are currently. Um, maybe this was like a past job that you had, right? It, it was just to get you the experience or some of the needed skill, the necessary skill in order to create your dream a reality. You know, it's kind of like how some, you know, we sometimes hear, let's say like YouTubers or I don't know, people just, you know, they they talk about like, oh, before I, I used to do photography and that kind of taught me on how to create thumbnails or before I used to, um, I don't know, film videos with my friends, and that that's kind of how I started making YouTube videos. So I'm just giving you an example to um to show you how sometimes we get like these small experiences in life that kind of teach us maybe the basics or the needed skills that we can then implement into something in the future that is actually our life's purpose. So some things are meant to stay in our life in a very temporary way, just so that they teach us some kind of skill or something, or give us the resources that we need in order to later step in finally in our life purpose. And we can implement those things into making it easier for us to become successful, successful at our dream, right? That's kind of what it feels like. You also have strength with the fennel. Yeah, you guys are very strong, very like 
just such resilient, hardworking people. You have a very strong work ethic. Affection with so sorrow. I hope that's how you pronounce that. Okay. I feel like you're you're just gonna be happy, pile three. You're gonna be very happy. You're gonna feel very grateful with this affection. It's like you're gonna feel loved by the universe. You're gonna feel loved by by your God, by your angels. Your spirit. You're gonna feel very loved, very appreciated because finally things are looking up for you. Is what I'm getting. All of the strength that you had to put up with and everything all of the lessons and everything it, it's finally gonna pay off because i see you guys able to manifest something huge in your life it's gonna be quite life-changing here okay let's see what else you have culmination of vision wow your message is so clear and it's like so the energy is so just so easy um there's no resistance pal number three I feel like you're going to finally be able to manifest something with culmination of vision. Something you have been visualizing and just seeing yourself doing something, right? This is involving you. It's like you visualize yourself doing this exact job and living in this exact country and living this exact lifestyle. I feel like you're manifesting that right now. And that is the next stage of your life. You living a lifestyle that you've always visualized yourself living, and again, what you did prior, what you were doing prior, what you're doing now was just to get you, it, it was just temporary to teach you something for, so that you can learn something that will then help you out a lot when you actually start living your dream or living your, or doing your life purpose. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Okay. You also have expansion. Wow. You might be making an agreement with some people, but definitely travel is happening here for you with the air balloons. I see you're going somewhere. You're going away. You're going somewhere where you've always wanted to be. It's like your wish is granted. That's kind of what I'm seeing here with the hand. It's like you made a deal with the divine, with the spirit. And it's time for you to receive this. Okay. Manifestation of vision. I especially see this as regarding the location where you're going to be living. I really do feel like that will be changing here. Your environment. Which then comes along with like so many other things, right? With people, with your career, with your lifestyle. Everything is changing around you is what it feels like, pile three. Wow, such a... Your message is so straightforward. I feel like I don't even need to go into any more details here. Wow, and, and I, I was feeling drawn to like, this card kind of fell to the side right as I said that, and I just lifted it up to see it, and it's a journey, so I do feel like this is confirmation that you are going to be going somewhere, okay, very interesting, let's take a look at your last card, pile three, ask for what you want, wow, I love this so much, okay, let me focus this, let the universe and other people know what you need. So ask for what you want. The miracle that you will be receiving, pile number three, is what you asked for. Again, I mentioned it feels like you guys made a deal with the divine or a deal with your God. It's like, um, you know, it's kind of like those moments where we ask like, I will work really hard, but just give me this. And it's like you made the deal with the divine, and it's it's time for you to receive what you asked for, pile three. You know, sometimes I feel like, I don't know, maybe some of you need to hear this, I feel called to say it, but sometimes we get impatient because we're not um, receiving the final thing, right? We're so focused on achieving this final thing that we do not notice our progress. And you know, the progress, uh, as I mentioned, the progress is... In this case, with your reading, what I was saying before, it's like the progress is maybe you having this temporary job in order to get the current, 
the to to learn some skills or to get some knowledge regarding something that will then be very useful for you in the future or um have these temporary people in your life that they're going to give you some kind of information that are going to teach you something um, that you can later on implement and use and it will come in very handy for you so that that's the progress that's the journey to how we get to the final destination but you guys have been already through that journey and it feels like you are you have reached the end and now it's time for you to actually receive your wish because you do have the, all the knowledge that you need to have in order to do something. That's kind of what I'm feeling here for you, Palm number three. So uh, I loved your reading so much. I hope that this resonated with you. If it didn't, please leave a like and a comment and I hope to see you guys in my next reading. Bye guys.